tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. Hello folks, as you might have seen, this tutorial is called N Wobble. I could have called it N Wiggle. I invented this N word. And uh, don't search for it in the my menu set here. Help, find menu and N Wobble, you won't find it anyway. Uh, but it has to do with certain N words here and you find them under FX. You have the N particles, you have the N cloth, the N hair, the N constraint and the N cache. And they are all related in one specific way. They use the same dynamic machinery. So if you create a particle system with N particles, they fall down according to gravity. When you add other particles, they use the same gravity and the N cloth, if you put cloth in that scene, it uses the same gravity as well. So when you introduce wind, for example, which blows from the left to the right, the particles and the cloth and the other particles will all be blown from left to the right. I'll show you what, I'm, uh, what I mean with this by creating a cloth and particles and they interact with the same dynamic impetus. So first of all, we need geometry. Let's create a sphere. No, actually, we'll create something more fancy, like a super ellipse. When we press F, we get close to it. And in the attribute editor under poly super shape, we see that we have a random bottom here, which we can click until we see something which we like to deal with. For example, this object here, quite nice. And uh, we have uh, horizontal and vertical di divisions of 16 by 16. You can raise this if you like. Uh, it um, makes the machine slower. It depends on a little bit on your machine. And uh, the simulation, of course, is much more interesting when you have a higher resolution like 30 by 30. But let me stick to 16 by 16 for now. And I create a cloth from this create and cloth it's the second entry here under the end cloth menu set uh, the first one is create passive collider which is interesting too but it doesn't have to do really with creating cloth so this object is cloth now how do we know well first of all to make things a little bit more interesting we create a new material <music> So this is cloth, I said. Well, uh, let us see. We go to the very beginning of the simulation and it falls down. And if we stop here, for example, that's frame 19 now, almost a second, you see that it behaves like cloth. When we go back to the first frame, it behaves as, uh, as it was made. And here in the outliner, you see nucleus one and the cloth one. Now, when we introduce a particle system with n particles, which evaporate from the same surface, the nucleus will be the same. We will create a second n object, apart from n cloth and n particle, but we'll only have one nucleus. This is the strength of the system. They all interact. That means they all behave the same in the, dynam in the same dynamic world. So with this object selected, the super shape, we create an end particle. And now we need to um, scroll a little bit down. We don't create just an emitter from anywhere. We emit from an object that is this object here. And here we have emitter type omnidirectional. That's the emitter we just created, just to be make sure. Up here in the attribute editor is the tab emitter and we don't want to actually emit from the outside in all directions but inside that volume here and what happens now is quite interesting the object falls down and gets gets these these little bumps here now the next thing I'm going to do is 
go back to the very beginning I'll select the nucleus as you can see n cloth n particle and only one n nucleus we'll reduce the gravity from 9.8 which is the gravity on earth to zero so the object stays where it is only the particles start working on that object which you see now The simulation is not real-time as you can see, but you can cache it of course and when you render it you will see it alright anyway. Uh, you can see the particles out here and the particles interact dynamically with our N-cloth. If we wouldn't have the N-cloth the particles wouldn't have an effect because the object would be just uh, ignoring the particles. Now when you go to the particle system here, you can change different things. Go back to the emitter which is right here and under the emitter, basic emitter tra attributes you find the rate. If you reduce this from 100 to say 10 you get a different deformation of course. It goes much slower because we have less particles in our world. Let's go back to 100 or 120 even. Down here you have uh, speed, emission speed and an interesting thing which you might try out is when you go to the end particle shape here you see a particle size section and the radius currently of our particles although they are infinitely small here in the display is the physical uh, radius is 0 0.2. When you increase this to 0 0.9 you have bigger particles interacting with our cloth as you can see now. Let's go back to the tiny particles make them even smaller instead of 0 0.1 we can type in 0 0.01 so they're really tiny now And here you don't really see that effect of the tiny deformations because our geometry is not of high enough resolution. If you had created that instead of 16 by 16 with 100 by 100, a very dense network, it, uh, you would see these things much better. So I think 0 0.1 is a very good value. Not real time as you know. Now go back to the end cloth and in the end cloth shape tab you find presets and here you can select different kinds of cloth. Uh, a little bit out of uh, the recording area here but for example you have here the t-shirt and you can replace this behavior here with a t-shirt with a cotton behavior by replacing it or just blending in it 50%. Here you have a description of what it does and when you run the simulation it's a little bit different now. It's a little bit more stiff now because of the cotton material. Of course you can change all these things here in the dynamic properties in the force field etc. Here are basically the methods how this cloth behaves. Beach ball. It just blows up like this because it's so flexible. The simulation speed depends on the complexity of the material. This is silk for example. Much easier to simulate. It's a very soft material of course. Remember one nucleus which controls all n objects. You could use n hair now on this object. Actually let me do this. Select the super shape n hair and I create n hair. Okay you wanted it here it is. Fatal error. Maya's crashing that was too much for my pretty old system here. Bye bye.